Hello, lovely KG3 Poopies of Torchbearers Academy. Good day. How are you all doing? I hope you enjoyed the holiday. I know we have missed class activities and we pray that the pandemic will soon be over so that we can return to school and meet physically. All right? I want to urge you all that you take these online classes seriously even as we begin this exciting third term. We are beginning a new topic in computer science for this third term and our first topic is computer in our daily life. Now, what's a computer? Computer is an electronic machine that processes information. In other words, it's an information processor. Whatever you tell the computer to do is what it does. Now, looking at our today's topic, computer in our daily life. Computers are used in different aspects of our daily life. In almost all the activities we perform, we need the computer for an excellent and a quick result. An example of a computer that we see every day and we use every day is the cell phone. For instance, you have an uncle living in Abuja and you want to tell him to buy you a bicycle. Instead of wasting your time to travel all the way from Benin to Abuja, all you do is to pick up your phone and tell him, Hey, uncle, good morning. Please, I want you to buy me a bicycle. And then he says, Okay, no problem. So with the aid of your phone, which is a computer, you were able to reach your uncle very fast without wasting your time traveling to Abuja. Moving on, some of the uses of computers are Number one, a computer can be used to calculate figures with the help of a calculator. Children, have you seen a calculator before? Do you know what it looks like? It has numerical keys. And with these numerical keys, you are able to do your calculation. For example, you are asked to add up 5 and 9. All you need to do is to got your numerical key on your calculator and click on 5, click on the plus sign, click on 9, and then equals 2, after which you get the appropriate results, which is 14. Number 2. A computer is used in electronic point of sales for shopping and recording sales. This electronic point of sales, EPOS, is commonly known as POS. There are times when you go to the supermarket with your mommy or your daddy and then daddy suddenly says, Oh, I don't have enough money in my pocket. Please, can I make use of your POS? And then the sales manager says, Okay, no problem. And then your daddy brings out this little colorful rectangular card popularly known as ATM card. Then he slots it into the POS and then transfers money from his own account into the account of the sales manager, using it to pay for all the things he went to buy at the supermarket. Number three, a computer called automated teller machine, ATM, is used in banks to process account transactions. The automated teller machine is usually found in the bank. You can use it to withdraw money. You can use it to transfer money to somebody. And to do this, you have to make use of your ATM card. Okay? Number four. A computer can be used to send and receive messages. This is called electronic mail, popularly known as email. In case you don't want to use your phone, to communicate with somebody. What you simply do is to go to your computer, send a message to the person through your email address, to the person's email address, after which he or she will receive your message. An example of email address is david124 at yahoo.com. Another one is grace at gmail dot com so with this we have come to the end of today's class and by god's grace in our next class 
we will be discussing computers at homes and in schools. An assignment has been dropped for you in the PDF file. Please ensure you do the assignment and submit. Thank you. Ensure you stay at home, wash your hands regularly, and stay safe. Love you all.